Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to do a puzzle today and just a bit about placement of the puzzle with your scanning cup. So go and retrieve your data. Uh, I sent it by Wi-Fi, so that's the top right one. And it will bring the puzzle template onto your mat on the screen. Um, we're going to edit that and first of all we're going to scan the picture that we're going to cut out into a puzzle. So I've placed it on a, my mat and uh, Put it down to fairly tight so it will cut. So scan your mat and I'm just going to speed this up. And once it's scanned you'll see your picture on the screen. Now it's quite hard to see so make the picture, normally I go the other way around, but make the picture a bit lighter so you can see the actual shape of the puzzle and click on it and you'll see it's all grouped. Go to edit and then object edit is the next one and that way you can uh, make some changes to the actual size of the puzzle so it fits perfectly and it's the top one with the little arrow pointing to the square now you can either do it uh, all at once so at the moment we've got the selection to do it in a ratio so it will adjust the height and the width accordingly but if you see those two arrows just under the or next to the cent sign that will do it individually. My recommendation is to do it in ratio for this puzzle. However, if for some reason you can't, it will cope with a slight bit of change um, in variation of height and width. If you go into your zoom, so I backed out and went into my zoom, and just do some fine placement. Those arrow keys will just move it along slightly. The larger ones at the bottom will scroll it up and down. And you can just inch it across just a little bit at a time until you get it perfectly placed on the edge of your picture. Scroll up. You can go into 400% if you need to. Uh, I, I just went to 200 so I could see the entire design. And go OK and OK and back right out to cut it out. Choose Cut. You may need to tweak your settings depending on the card. I've used a cereal box for my uh, jigsaws, which I found was quite good and, of course, very cost effective. I sped this bit up again because it's a little bit uh, long. It, the passes may take up to three, even maybe four passes, depending on the thickness of the cardstock. You can see this was uh, four minutes to start with, so I sped it up quite a bit. So it was really, would have been really boring. Once it's finished, just click OK. And uh, you can head over to my website, createwithsue.com, and you can get a full tutorial on how to put this together and how what I found. <laughs> Let's talk to you again. Bye.